Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will guide you to create this infrared thermometer. Within this video, I will guide you to develop this initial shape in a more easily and practical way. Within this field tutorial, you will learn attach canvases image to the sketch and adjust it. How also how to work with the sculpt feature in the inventor. Then you are going to learn manipulate the solid with the multiple bodies. Okay. Lastly, you will also learn how to create text in within the emboss feature. Okay, let's get started. First, I want to create a sketch to attach my canvas. So I will click the create a sketch and then I will put in the XY plane and I insert the image which is the top view of the image. Okay, I will open and I will put it in the middle in order to do so I will use the vertical and horizontal constraints I click the vertical constraint first and then I put it in the center and also horizontal I will put it in the origin okay okay I will finish sketch and then I'll continue with the second sketch okay the second sketch I also want to insert and unfortunately the picture is not aligned correctly so I will align it and then I also use the vertical and horizontal constraint like previously before okay over there okay and then I create the dimension to adjust the size 180 and I also want to add the dimension which is the top view here 180 okay good okay now i'm going to create the sketch to begin first with the cylinder so i will create the scalp here cylinder and then i create the xz plane as a reference and i put it over there and then as you can see here the size is not correct and then I also want to use the open cylinder so usually I will begin with the very simple shape when working with the scalp because it's easily to control so this one the faces I will like to control it properly and just one face over there so I will can edit another more and I will put the Y symmetry because this one is uh, at the Y direction they will be uh, symmetric and then I will move this cylinder go down to the bottom and then I will adjust the position accordingly and if I double click the edge over there so it will select all the circumference and then I can simply scale up the dimension using that uh, manipulator and also I can move it up to adjust within the canvas so I also use the transluent view to get more accurate about how the canvas is going and how my scalp or my cylinder will be uh, as perfect or as fit as it goes okay okay so I will adjust it properly and then once you satisfy with the shape I will scale it up so that icon over there is for the scaling here yeah okay okay so I will add another faces so if I want to add another faces I just click and drag using the edit form command as well but I will hold down my alt key in the keyboard to add another faces okay so I also want to adjust the scale up okay just it uh, properly to match the shape within the canvas ok 
okay okay I think I also want to adjust just only the point so if I want to adjust the point so I just click the point over there okay over there and then I drag it up so they will affect only at the particular point so I add another face I use the scale so I will search for the scale oh there over there yeah okay use the scale and then here I will adjust the point as well okay okay so basically this the edit form here so we just match to the canvases from the side view and from the top view here so as you can see I can easily click and drop here usually with the shape like this people will use the love command which is we have to create the separate sketches and then separate uh, profile and we'll develop the shape within the love command but I think in my opinion this sculpt environment will give more controllable shape and more continuous surfaces okay rather than the love okay okay so I will add another sketch sorry another faces here and also using the still using the edit form I will continuously manipulate the shape okay for there okay I think it's a uh, yeah sometimes the in the inventor when we want to click the point or vertex here is I don't know why it's not as easily in the fusion but yeah it's both of this uh, feature it have in the inventor and also in the fusion so in the bottom here I will ask the add a face which is I just click the edges vertices here okay and then they will automatically create the face for me and this face to cap the hole I can easily manipulate the position the size and also the orientation so as you can see here I doing the manipulation of the size Okay, I will use when I will use the scale over there to scale within the axis. Okay, and then okay, yeah, I will also move it a little bit and going down a little bit. Okay, okay, I think it's a uh, quite match to the canvas here so I will adjust fine tune adjustment this okay yeah yeah I think I will have to move a bit here the edges okay I click it and then I will drag it up okay this one as well okay this one actually I just click the edges so you can use the edges or you can use the face or you can choose the vertex to manipulate the shape okay so if you use the face to manipulate the shape they will affect more widely okay then I will add another face here using alt key and then 
I give a bit rotation on this uh, particular face edges over there and then to match with the shape because this have the round shape or maybe curve so you need to follow the orientation in order to get the perfect uh, and good surface quality okay maintaining the orientation perpendicular to the axial of the uh, this faces over here okay I will add more so you just add more faces accordingly and as you need it don't too much but if you want to get the detail you have to add more faces but if you too much edit the faces there will be the shape will be quite much difficult to control so the rule of thumb from for me is uh, make uh, as simple as less surface as possible to get the desired shape okay i will fine tune adjust to the particular uh, edges no vertices here okay so when you look at my uh, shape here is almost uh, close to the shape in the canvas so here well let me adjust yeah sometimes in inventor uh, if we want to select particular vertices or edges is more more difficult compared with the another like a fusion okay okay so and also you if you satisfy with the shape in the one direction you have to consider to the other direction which is uh, how this uh, shape will perfectly align with the canvas of the shape okay like that okay okay so if you click the edge and then you double click they will select all the circumference of the edges so you can use the scale here I use the scale to scale up the circumference yeah over there so when you click the center of the did form manipulator icon over there there's a ball as you can see so they will scale in the x y and z direction so all the axes they will scale it up so if we drag the square over there in the manipulator they will move the particular selected vertices or object within the plane okay yeah so they will move within the plane like this okay okay looks like the shape is more okay let me adjust it first okay Right there uh, okay okay so now I'm going to adjust from the side view here mm, yeah sometimes it's a bit frustrating 
when I select the vertices here but we have to be a bit of patient okay okay over there mm -hmm. yeah sometimes it's going to be easy when you click the edges and because you click the edges so they will affect much uh, larger shape will affect compared to the just for this is so if we use the edges so they will also affect to the particular uh, position or the shape okay okay mm, I think this one is need to be adjust a bigger a bit okay yeah I think it's a uh, is enough okay, I think it's enough for the particular shape okay 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 good so when you look here the shape is roughly the overall initial shape is a uh, very good enough but if you want to see how it perform in uh, its individual edges so i'll usually use i turn off the smooth uh, visualization and then i will find refine the adjustment to create the this like a skeleton if the skeleton is a very good or smooth transition shape they will more smooth in the fine adjustment so you can toggle between the smooth and also between the the meshes here to adjust this particular uh, scalp okay so basically it's a quite powerful trick or uh, feature okay and i also using the face to insert the face and i crease because it's just using the it's using the fillet or the outer over there so i will use crease edges here i click here so they were maintaining the sharp edges and later on i will use uh, fillet to create the round shape as you can see if i exit the environment of the scalp because this scalp automatically uh, turn to the solid as you can see here and then so i can add the fillet for example over there so and then i can do or i treat this solid as a individual like ordinary solid in the inventor here so i can add more feature over here so maybe like this uh, button here so i will create the sketch over there and then use the line over here okay i use line and then I just click and drag using left mouse button to create the arc and this arc is a uh, automatically tangent with this line okay so I also want to close at the back over there okay over there uh, here okay and then within this uh, sketch I can do the extrude command to create the uh, maybe I will use the mid plane here with the equal length with the 8 millimeter okay perfect so I will add the fillet here to the particular uh, extrusion that I just created before and this fillet I will use the setback feature setback is basically creating the 
another controllable uh, fillet at the adjacent of the edges so if you have a three edges here so the 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 three adjacent position over there is we call it setback and then we can control the radius over there yeah so this radius I will use three okay so as you can see here the shape is a bit more round at the adjacent over there okay I will use three over there and then as well as here okay over there and also as well as the another vertex okay okay after you create the setback you also still can create or adjust the radius of the fillet of course okay I think the main button is already finished okay okay the rest I will create another sketch to create the if you yeah to create the LCD face over there so basically I just create the spline from here so I will trace to the canvas to get the shape of the LCD and then I will activate the handle over there to control the direction of the spline so I will click the handle and then I make it horizontal so here you also I will create the horizontal why I create the horizontal because if you want to mirror this spline at the mirror line you need to create the mirror line and also the spline the spline you need to be a tangent with the or maybe perpendicular to the mirror line otherwise you will not get the perfect match between the two those two of the spine weight while they are mirroring okay okay our visibility I will turn it on and I am doing the split command just click the split command and then which face that I want to split over there so and then I just click OK so is done for the area to the LCD screen okay so I need to create a flat area again over there in order to create the the LCD itself okay I will use the I think it's better use the spline we'll use more spline here okay use more spline and then I uh, adjust the spline to match to the LCD area so I don't know whether this span will come up with the perfect or match uh, shape or not let's give a try okay in the span you can control the handle over there so this handle you can control the direction you can control the curvature of the spine and also the radius of the curvature so it's very quite uh, good okay click close the profile because I want to extrude this profile I will use the uh, let me turn on the the solid okay over there so I will do the both and then I will cut okay okay 
I think I have to make it more wider yeah so the LCD is basically is quite wide maybe I'm not going to create a perfect dimension or match within this uh, LCD position because just show you how I create this and this is the way one of the way that we can use the extrude command within this to create this uh, LCD and then we can adjust it properly okay I think the if the position is quite satisfying enough I think it's enough okay let me change the color or appearance within this uh, particular solid here so I can see clearly inside so maybe if we adjust the height of this uh, spine accordingly I think you will get the good uh, surface area for the this particular LCD okay 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 yeah okay the height may be just a little bit but leave it like that way okay next I am going to create the profile here how I create that one so I still use the sketch from the side from the side view using the spline I will and then with this uh, particular spline I will continue using the sweep command because actually this shape I think it's kind of a have a radius curvature within the body so we are going to use the sweep command okay I will close these two ends of the spine okay okay so I will create the path for the sweep yeah over there okay I will create a sketch here at the XZ plane and then create an arc with the center point uh, here okay so that particular arc is actually for my path for the particular sketch so the path will be creating the radius or arc shape okay and then i will use kite surface this one is using kite surface which is the body is for the guide okay and then i will cut okay does the pattern intersect oh it's okay so i just click yes so it's mean that the path and the body and the profile is not at the same uh, exact point just give me a reminder okay I will change to the default again and maybe I will add a bit of fillet over there mm, let me think first yeah I will give a bit of fillet over here maybe 20 is too much 15 10 okay 10 maybe a bit larger uh, 12 okay okay or maybe 15 yeah okay perfect okay okay now I'm going to 
create a button they have a three control button so I will use the offset plane to create the this sketch for the button I will click OK and then I will click a sketch in this particular offset face and I will use F7 to virtually cut the sketch so I can clearly see what I'm going to work or which plane which I'm going to work within and to get a more clear more clear working plane environment okay so I will give the dimension accordingly so in here I'm not following exactly the to the canvas because it's just a button so perhaps perhaps when the design is like this so when you going to fill this uh, body here with the electronics inside it so you have to give the perfect position for the each individual body here but I'm not going to discuss with you any of this uh, electronics inside here okay okay so this three button I will extrude to the particular surface within the body so I will create the thicken offset here using the surface so practically this surface I offset it a bit just 0 0.5 so this surface will give me the limitation of the extrusion of those three buttons okay so that's the idea so I can use the click to to the surface or oh, I think two cannot work because it's the separate surface so I will use the other option which is next next I will click the surface okay so as you can see here the button is already created so I also create a new body so when you click here so this three solid will uh, form uh, another button so I will use a button and I will put the radius to make more smooth or not sharp yeah 0 0.5 I think is a bit too large okay let me reduce to the 0 0.3 okay perfect okay okay good now now the last is uh, to create the at the LCD screen in this particular LCD screen I will use the emboss command so actually you also can use the particular uh, color here okay let maybe this one is a uh, black or the surface will be like I will use yellow or oh, no gold and here I will use another color so maybe yeah I think blue mm, yeah blue is okay so in this particular LCD I will use uh, another color oh no so this one should be like the, what's the color of the LCD? I have no idea. Mm, gray, probably. Mm, yeah. Okay. Never mind. We can use another color as well. So this is the button. So I will give another different color. So let me distinguish to the yellow will be red I love yellow and red color 
because it's very bright okay okay then uh, continue to the LCD screen if you look at here I can also inspect which is the using zebra analysis so yeah if you can see here the analysis of the zebra is giving me the visualization which is the surface is very smooth and continue from top to bottom so I'm quite satisfied with this uh, shape so that's the that's the advantage using the scalp environment if you use a uh, loft to develop this shape it will be it will be uh, have not quite as easy as here so let's continue to the LCD screen I create a three plane here three plane I will flip because in inventor the work plane is uh, have uh, faces so you have to make sure which face that you were working on so I will use here 96.5 as a normal people usually and I adjust the height of the text okay and I will I think I will rotate it first the orientation click click and then just click just yeah maybe it's not too perfect align but it's okay we just want to make this as an emboss okay I turn off the visibility I use emboss with the profile over there and which is a solid and then I will cut and that direction is downwards and you put the depth and also the color of the emboss feature so here you can choose I uh, will use black okay yeah okay oh I think it's a bit too much so I will decrease 0 0.2 probably yeah actually the LCD is not like this okay but it's a good thank you for watching my tutorial and have and have a nice day bye bye